And today being a Monday, we do focus a big on agriculture. There's a new kind of fish farming taking root across the country as consumers showcase their rising sophistication. Ornamental fish farming has mopped from just a hobby to a viable commercial venture. On this week's edition of The Next Frontier, Phil Keitan visits an urban ornamental fish farmer who makes a living from selling beautiful fish. The aquatic industry in Kenya has grown greatly over the last few decades. Promotion of aquatics started in the early 1920s as fish became a substitute source of protein and also income in rural areas. But an expanding middle class and rising consumer sophistication has birthed a new kind of fishing, ornamental fish farming. Meet Peter Mwangi, a seasoned urban ornamental fish farmer who keeps multicolored fish but these beautiful fish are not for food. They are kept purely for aesthetic appeal. Ornamental fish is not something that I planned to do. I think this is something that came to me by default. Peter is catching on a fad that has gained popularity worldwide and contributed to the steady increase in aquarium fish trade globally. The fishes are ready for sale in four to six months with the seamen's fighter fish, molly fish, goldfish, fantail platys standing out as fan favorites. But the ornamental fish is more or less like a pet because it's put in the house and it's much more colorful and uh, people like observing them. The prices for aquarium fish is determined in inches and like tilapia and catfish whose prices are pegged on their age and weight. According to Peter, the trade can be done in a backyard since it does not take up too much space and still gives one health returns. Uh, for the fish now we have farmers in Kenya who literally import the fingerlings from uh, from all over the world. Uh, they put them in their ponds and the moment they become big they sell them to us. So nowadays we have a proper chain where we can be able to get our fishes easily. One inch goldfish fingerlings sell at 150 shillings or runs at 500 shillings an inch and black molly at 400 shillings. A mature ornamental fish can cost up to 15,000 shillings or 20,000 shillings and Peter insists that there are great opportunities available in ornamental fish culture for they can be marketed within the region and also in America, Europe and Asian markets. Nowadays with, uh, with about 10,000 shillings you can actually be able to have an aquarium in your house but that's going to be a smaller aquarium, more or less like one of those ones there. And also uh, you can even have an aquarium that's worth half a million. The primary health preventive measure in ornamental fish culture and breeding is proper management of water quality because these fish are highly sensitive to acidity levels and temperature. The fish are also susceptible to common diseases like fin rot, white spot and mouth fungus. So for the fish ideally, because we're only feeding them to keep them alive, you have to give them a nutritious diet. So we feed them at least uh, once per day. Uh, in other situations, you can feed them twice per day. Ornamental fish farming is highly promising venture, especially to the unemployed youth. It has low startup cost, need very little space and minimal manpower. With the growth of the middle class in the country growing significantly each year, so as their demand for finer things in life, and apart from keeping cats and dogs in their houses as pets, a majority of them are now keeping ornamental fish in their houses driving the demand for this kind of business in the country. Philip Keitan for The Next Frontier.